Assalamualaikum dear students in today's lecture i am going to explain you what is a matter and what are its different states you all know that matter is everything around us if something has mass and takes up space it is considered matter so when you are going to define matter you have to be focused on two things one is that matter has mass and the second thing is that it takes up space in other words we can say that these are the two properties of matter so matter includes all the things we can touch see and even things we can't see like air so everything that has mass and takes up space is called matter some examples of matter are water rocks trees and even the air we breathe because air we can't touch we can't see but air has a mass and it takes up space matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms before this lecture we have discussed in detail what is an atom and we have concluded that everything around us is made up of atoms and matter is made up of atoms very tiny particles which are called atoms atoms are so small that we can't see them with our eyes but they are the building blocks of everything in our universe either that thing is living thing or that thing is non living thing everything around us or everything present in this universe is made up of atoms these atoms can join together to form bigger structures called molecules we have discussed molecules and compounds states of matter so matter can exist in different states or phases the most common states of matter that we see every day are solid liquid and gas so these are the three general states or phases of matter now we will go through each state and we will try to understand each state's properties with simple examples the first one is solid solid is a phase of matter is a state of matter solids have a definite shape and a definite volume so this is the property of this state of matter that it has a definite shape and a definite volume the particles in a solid are packed tightly together and arranged in a fixed orderly way and due to this tight arrangement solids do not change their shapes on their own they also do not take the shape of their container uh, what are the examples a book is a solid it keeps its shape whether it is on the table or in a bag it will not change its shape according to its container in this way table is a container bag is a container and book is a solid so because uh, book has its own definite shape and it has its own definite volume and uh, the particles uh, who are the building blocks of this book they are so tightly uh, arranged with each other that they will not allow this shape of matter solid to change its shape by their own ice is another solid even though it is made of water it keeps its shape until it melts so before melting ice is a solid and rocks are also examples of solid they do not change shape unless we break them imagine a group of people standing shoulder to shoulder in a crowd they cannot move very much because they are packed closely together that's the like the particles in a solid they are fixed in place giving the solid its shape and volume and the second phase is liquid liquids have also a definite volume but no definite shape because their shape uh changes the particles in the liquid are close together but not as tightly packed 
as in a solid they can slide around each other allowing liquids to flow so what is the difference between liquid and solid a uh, liquid state of matter has definite volume solid state of matter also has a definite volume but solid state of matter has its definite shape but liquid state of matter has not definite shape liquids can take the shape of their container but solids cannot take the shape of their container by their own what are the examples of liquid water is a liquid if you pour it into a cup it takes up the shape of a cup and if you pour water into a bottle it takes the shape of the bottle so volume will be same volume will remain same but the shape will change according to the container juice is another liquid it flows when you pour it and it can take any shape depending on its container oil is also a liquid like water it flows and changes shape to fit its container uh, now i'll explain this with a very easy and day to day example uh, think of liquid particles as people standing in a room but with space to move around they are not stuck in one place so they can flow and slide past each other but they stay close together keeping a constant volume third phase is gas gas have no definite shape and no definite volume so this is the difference between uh, gas liquid and um, solid solid has solid has definite shape and definite volume uh, liquid has definite volume but no definite shape and the gas has no definite shape and no definite volume because the particles in a gas are spread far apart and move around freely and this thing this arrangement allows gases to expand and fill any container they are placed in because gas particles move so freely gases can be compressed or expanded to fit almost any volume uh, air is a gas helium is a gas oxygen is another gas which is essential for us to breathe it moves freely in the air and fills up the space around us Uh, let's try to understand this with easy explanation imagine people standing very far apart in a huge open field they can move in any direction and fill up as much space as they want this is how gas particles behave they have lots of room to spread out and move around the fourth one is plasma plasma is often called the fourth state of matter it is less common on earth but is actually the most common state of matter in the universe plasma forms when gases are heated to very high temperatures causing the atoms to break apart and release energy in the form of light the sun and other stars are made up of plasma uh, neon signs use plasma to create light when electricity passes through the gas inside the tube it creates plasma that glows lightning is also plasma it is superheated gas created by electric charges in the sky plasma is like a supercharged gas where particles have so much energy that they light up it's why stars shine and neon lights glow changes between states of matter matter can change from one state to another when we add or remove energy so uh, how different states of matter uh, are changed when we add or remove energy and energy is in the form of heat uh, let's take different examples melting solid to liquid when we heat ice it absorbs energy and melts to become water so it will change its state from solid to liquid freezing liquid to solid if we cool water down it loses energy and freezes to become ice in this way it will change its state from liquid to solid evaporation liquid to gas when we heat water it turns into steam or water vapor liquid to gas condensation gas to liquid when we cool steam it condenses back into water gas to liquid 
sublimation solid to gas skipping the liquid phase dry ice solid carbon dioxide sublimates directly into gas without becoming liquid key points matter exists in different states solid liquid gas and plasma each state has its own unique properties due to how its particles are arranged and how they move matter can change from one state to another when we add or remove heat take very good care of yourself allah hafiz